You ready? On yeah, three. Right. One, well, we go one, two, two three, two. then go. Okay, wait. One. Wait. One, two, three, then go. Or one, yeah. two, three. One, two, three, then go. go. Okay. One, one two, two, three, 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 then go. Oh. Close. So, uh, boysenberry and cherry, double fruited sour ale from Range Brewing. Hmm. The jam. That smells good. Mm. Look at the colour of this though. Ah, see. That's why you want the glasses. Fucking hell, it's, it's pouring on your carpet. Where, so where, how's that a, happening? Is there a hole in that? How many have you had before we got here? <laughs> None. Dude, that looks really good actually. I don't know what happened there. How good's that? Look yeah. at that. Ah, you, you couldn't have kids around, they'd want to drink it. Mm. Nice, I'll get some cheers. Cheers. It's good. Awesome. Range. <coughs> yeah. Newstead. Locals. Love them. Yeah, that's us. That's nice. Sporting our locals. We might not talk about film. <laughs> See, how, how strong is it? I don't know. Right. 5.8. I think uh, it's a big can. <laughs> yeah. It uh, doesn't tell me how many drinks it is. More than enough. Couple. Yeah. Cool. Anyway. This oh, week, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What did you shoot? Oh, the Pentax, yeah. 645. So we shot 645s this, this week, um, both mine. Yeah. GS 645 and the Pentax 645. And I had a roll of uh, Lomography Metropolis. Yeah. What did you shoot? Uh, the purple. No, my purple. So it's kind of a bit of a shoot yeah. off. The Metropolis versus the mm. purple. Yeah. So that's what we did. We just wandered around. And, oh, you'll see. But, um... Yeah. We had crappy weather. It's in two parts because the sun was shit. So we just stopped and went to did another day. Yeah. You, yeah, I picked you up at the pub and then... Yeah. Yeah. Was that it? Went for a walk and it was a bit rainy and... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then we went, okay. took some photos and then went again, took some more another day. And yeah. You're going to see them now. I think some pretty good shots in there. So yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah, there's some shit in there too, but... Yeah. <laughs> mainly mine. Chris is good. Mm. I'm not so good. But this beer is good. Perfect. Enjoy. Mm. I am, Chris. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it just really washes the colour out. Like, you can see from the video all the blues in that. And it's just stripped all the colour from it and added this green tone. And I'm not sure I love it. I know some people froth on this so hard. Mm. I'm not one of them. I think the purple's more interesting. You talk about yours. Yeah, yeah, the purples. Purples really interesting, but like I said, they're both um, aren't really realistic for the colours, which is why you buy this film, I guess. Yeah, so with this, uh, there's a tinge of purple in the um, gas gasometer. And I just thought it might pick it up in the film, but a bit of a boring shot. Not really worth taking. It's almost black and white, isn't it? Yeah. And this here is mainly just to see how it reacted with the reds in that melee sign. Um, it still pulls, the reds still pull through, they become a bit maroon, but it's interesting to see what it does with the green plants. Yeah, this boat was interesting, we waited until it got into um, an area where you could see the gold now behind it. It was interesting to see what would happen with gold now with the, the mm. film stop. We had quite wide lenses. Both the cameras have fairly 75mm and 60mm lenses. Yeah. So. Again, it just drops the tones right out of mine and yeah. you get a big splash of purple. Yeah, my, you can see how wide my lens is there. They barely see the boat. <laughs> yeah, my photo that I took is not going in my gallery, that's for sure. Yeah. The idea was just to experiment with the film stocks and see what they can do. And this one here, I was trying to get the reflection, the pandanus in the water. This is probably one of the ones I like the most. Mm. Um, it's kind of got that industrial vibe to it and the shot 
lends itself to that. So I kind of yeah. like that one. <laughs> yeah, we um, stopped filming the other day, so we're back today. Um, just a bit too cloudy, so we figured we'll go to a bit of a different area, somewhere with a bit more green and a bit more colour and vibrancy. So yeah, nice, nice cool day. the weather was a bit poor, the light was no good. Um, yeah, and I'm shooting Chris's big Pentax 645. First time, I like it. Yeah, you like it? That's good. Yeah. I, um, I'm shooting mine at 200 this time as well. I was shooting at 100 with the earlier shots, and now just thought I'd rate it, see how it is at a different rating. So it's recommended anywhere from 1 to 400 on the box. Same, and I'm just lazy, I'm just shooting at 100. Yeah. Because I couldn't be asked changing it. Good. So I... let's keep going, let's, let's see what we going. get. That's it, yeah. Look. Yeah, like I don't mind this shot of the old GPO um, in Brisbane, Fortitude Valley, but again, it's just washing all those colours out and I'd prefer to shoot in black and white. Yeah, for a $30 film stock, you don't really want to be saying that. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't get the height. <clears throat> but yeah. this one didn't change the colours too much at all. This is kind of what that building looks like. So. It's These ones I don't mind are the clouds and the mirrors. Um, I think it's more the competition. Yeah, I look, yeah, I'm, I'm I don't think I'd shoot the film stock again. I think these ones here in King Street are probably my best too. Yeah. To show off the, the film stock working, this gelato um, shop. Yeah, this El Camino, like the sign's really bright, but when you see the shot, it kind of washes out the background quite a bit, and I really enjoy that. I don't mind that shot at all. Yeah, but both our El Camino shots are pretty good. I mean, the, mine has this weird greens in the in the metallic surfaces. Yeah, I don't mind this one, you know, again, I think composition is pretty strong, but also the colouring. Mm. And yours, the, the contrast is amazing, like you've got this really rich purple and I've got these washed out tones with just uh, favouring the greens and, and those kind of hues. Yeah. These stairs are interesting because they had such great light in person and such great shadows, but the film stock, it didn't really come through with this film stock. No. Yeah, mine like, basically doesn't look like there's much light in it at all.
Is your shit shot, Brett? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I don't know why. I just don't like it. These two of the tree are interesting because yeah. it's a really good direct comparison. Yeah, great comparison, these two. I mine really favoured the greens and dropped everything else away and yours pops this purple. Yeah. I don't know, did you ever go to church when you were a kid? Oh, yeah, that's a good Catholic boy. That's kind of like the blood of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And the chicken crimpies out on the last one of the body. We <laughs> That's sacrilegious. Have, we might have offended some Mate, people. We're going to hell. <laughs> At least we'll have a good time getting there. That's true. Yeah, so that was, I think that was a good day shooting. I enjoyed that. I, I, I love my 645s. Um, you get a lot out of the roll, but... Yeah, what do you get? Cameras. 16? Yeah, I get 15 on the, on the 645. Yeah, yeah. One. but that one's we, 16, I think. Yeah. I don't, can't remember yeah. how many we got, but yeah, there's some good ones in there. Some... Some I'm not happy with. I mm. probably wouldn't shoot Metropolis again mm. unless I had a project. Yeah, yeah. Um, that kind of washed out. Yeah, I don't know. The purple's mm. cool. Yeah, the purple's cool. It, it's expensive. That's the other thing. Like, 30, 30 bucks, bucks a roll in Australia, yeah. plus uh, postage. Yeah. That's expensive. Yeah, it is expensive. So you want to shoot it with the 645 so you get bank fee buck. Mm. $2 a shot. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I wouldn't... I don't think I'd use it unless I had a project to shoot that was specifically mm. like a grungy kind of feel. Yeah. It'd be nice with like cars or something to do with machinery, motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about portraits. We didn't really take any portraits, did we? No, we didn't um, take any. Yeah. But, you know, there are a couple of like, um, yeah, the El Camino sign. I kind of mm. like that. And there was yeah, a like gelato that. shop I took through the front doors of that. Yeah, I don't that's mind. A great, great shot too. But yeah, there weren't too many on mine where I go, yeah, okay, that's a good shot. Mm. But, you know, that's what you get when yeah. you just wander around. Yeah, that's it. We went for a walk and took it as it came. So, mm. yeah, pretty happy with that Loma Purple too. It's the second or third time I've shot it. Um, I shot it at about 100 ISO, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe 200. But did did some pretty good colour shifts. Just yeah, I think you've got to be stops over with yeah. both these Lomo stops. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll tell you it's 100 to 400. Yeah. Shoot it at 400 at your own peril. Yeah. Yeah, I think I shot mine at, I think I shot it at 200. Mm, mm. And you shot yours half your old too, and then half your old Yeah, one. I think the first half at 100, and then the next yeah. half 200, yeah. But definitely loves a bit more light, mm. I would say. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a cool film stock. Like, if you haven't shot it before, grab it. And especially with the purple, doing any sort of nature shots, um, anywhere it's green, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, coming into spring for you Americans, be some good shots. Yeah. Um, with us we're getting into winter so there's not much greenery around right? well well always, we just had rain so there's always greenery, greenery in brisbane yeah it's, it's subtropical <laughs> that's true but hey look we yeah. we made 500 subscribers oh yeah shit congratulations to us mm. cheers cheers chris and brett for yeah. being you know 500 so we're going to celebrate we're going to give away some film mm. yeah uh, true yeah a few rolls yeah do a little got a roll of ft key 100 r yeah black and white film. that we love i don't think we shot that in like no we haven't yeah. done a video on that i've got mm. some elite chrome yeah I don't know why. We'll throw something else in got as well. Team out. Got some HP five. All right. Got the basics. So we're going to put a little film yeah. bundle together, and to be in the winning, you have to be a subscriber. Yeah. That's that's a given. Mm. And make a comment. So if you're a subscriber and you comment, we'll then randomly we'll use one of yeah. those random things that those famous YouTubers use. Yeah. And uh, it'll pick the winner for us, and we'll tell yeah. you who won the film. We'd love to send you a six pack of beer, but I guess if the the winners from Brisbane. I can throw in a six pack. Yeah. Of brew. We won't say what beer. <laughs> Till he's new or something. <laughs> Great <laughs> Northern. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, that's yeah. the shittest beer you could ever drink in your life. But it's still beer and it mm. gets you drunk. So there you go. Okay, yeah, perfect. Cool. All right, well, hopefully you guys liked that video. We'll um, we'll put whatever the entry stuff in the description below and we'll figure yeah. out the, the giveaway. Yeah, and we'll we'll give it away next video. We'll, we'll be revealed. Yeah. So thanks for watching again, if you're still here. If you've checked out, you don't know about the comp. Sucks yeah. to be you. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Thank you. See ya.